Hi, and welcome to episode two of Crunch Time, where we're going to go over a little bit of planning, scheduling, meal prep, and uh, time management skills that will allow you to continue on your journey to success. So, the first thing I'd like to go over is, title of this is, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. And that is as true as it gets. If you go in without a game plan, you are setting yourself up for failure. Because, as the old law says, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And believe me, you are no exception. Things will go awry and you need to have a plan before and after those things happen. So, step one, plan ahead of time. Pretty straightforward. Go into everything with a game plan, and fitness is the number one thing I definitely believe this holds true in, because if you go in to a gym, or you go on a run, or you decide to start a fitness plan of your own, and you don't have a plan, you are going to immediately run into pl trouble and problems where you don't know what to do next, or what happens if I miss a day, this thing, that, a lot of things pop up, and you are quickly derailed. So. Uh, anyone can say that they want to change, but a lot of those people, if not most of them, fall off or lose track and kind of stop trying because they don't have a, a plan. They don't have a manageable plan, which is number two. Give yourself a maintainable schedule. If you know that you're working six days a week, five days a week, let's say, let's say with five. If, you're, if you know you're working five days a week, don't plan your heaviest fitness day or day of activity around your busiest day of work. Work being labor, office work, classes, uh, art projects, crafts, family time. If you have something that you have as a priority above fitness, do not plan your heaviest day of activity as that day because you are going to put things off that are not a, a number one priority as we went over in the last video. If it's not a priority to you, you're going to push it to the side and Fitness for most people, especially the working people and people who are busy schedules, is not number one. It's maybe two, three, four, five, even further down the road. And plan according to your schedule that you already have. If you have a heavy work day, plan around that. So if I have, so let's say Wednesdays are the heaviest days of work for me at the office or in school, I'm not going to do the, the exercise that I look forward to the least, like a heavy leg workout. I'm not going to do that on the day that I'm already gonna be tired and I'm already gonna be in like kind of a down, bad mood from all the work I've been doing. I'll plan that for like a Saturday when I have a lot of free time and I know I can take my time and really enjoy the day. So, number three is be committed and don't make excuses. Just because I'm making Saturday my leg day does not mean that when Saturday rolls around I can say, oh, you know what, legs is whatever, it's just my legs, why do I need to hit those, why do, why do I need to really work out today, I'll just go to the beach instead, I'll sweat it all out there. No. Go to the beach, yes, but also get your activity in because you're not going to burn the calories you want. You're not going to achieve the goals you've set for yourself if you make excuses. And that is the, the biggest thing I see people do is, oh, I can't go because of this or that. Can you really not go because of this or that or that reason, this reason? Or do you not want to go? Because not wanting to do something and not being able to do something are two entirely different things. Not wanting to is a personal issue where maybe you need to reprioritize. Maybe you go back to my last video and you relay out those goals and those priorities. But not being able to is entirely different and that is where the maintainable schedule should have you uh, on flexibility because a good schedule is a flexible schedule. Something where if I miss a day, I'm not going to be completely thrown off. My day, my whole week isn't kind of messed up. Let's say I, let's say I miss my Tuesday workout but I can make my Wednesday workout. A lot of people have a question of, do I go back and do that Tuesday workout on the Wednesday? Do I do both Tuesday's workout and Wednesday's workout? No, just do Wednesday's workout because you should have already built into your plan that you're not going to miss every Tuesday. Therefore, you're not going to miss the same day every week. So skipping that one Tuesday won't be the end of the world. Just move on with your plan, do your Wednesday workout, and then when next Tuesday comes around, you'll hit your Tuesday workouts. Uh, and if you're, if you, that's, that's, again, if you know you're going to miss certain days, don't plan activity on that. And like I said, with, it, it's not even just necessarily being busy, it's 
your least favorite activity. One of the questions I send out in my questionnaires when people email me for fitness plans is, what's your least favorite activity to do and what's your favorite activity to do? And I know a couple other trainers go with this approach too because a lot of people will say cardio is my least favorite thing or legs is my least favorite thing. But they'll also say, oh, I love to go on hikes. Oh, I love to walk my dogs. Oh, I love to go to the park and play some soccer. Well, those are all cardio. Those are all leg heavy activities. Maybe instead of doing the classic leg day, you just do a little bit more of a strenuous hike. Take that hike a little bit longer. Or maybe try to push yourself, do that hike a little bit faster. Do it uh, with wider strides, you know? It doesn't have to be a huge uh, step in the right direction. Any step in the right direction is taking you towards that goal and it's just a matter of time. So ease yourself into it because jumping right into a super hardcore diet or a super hardcore exercise isn't going to help you. It's only going to hurt you because you're not gonna enjoy that process and you're going to quickly find that you want to give up. So be ready for the unexpected. Plan ahead of time. Know that things are going to go wrong. Know that everything's not gonna work out exactly how you want it to. Maybe the price of a food you like to eat on your diet goes up. Have a backup plan. You know, the one thing that I believe in for fitness and that is, it's a diet. A lot of people say, you've, hear, you've heard it for years now and a lot of different trainers have said it. A lot of, even, a lot of different, your friends have probably even told you. You know, abs are made in the kitchen. Fitness and eating right is the number one thing you can do to being healthy and that is 100% true. When I am cutting down for a show and I lose 20 pounds, I'm not exercising any harder in the gym. I mean, I'm putting in maximum effort all the time, but the reason I lose weight is because I eat in appropriate portions and I eat appropriate foods. It's as simple as that. And if you grocery shop a day at a time, you're gonna buy a bunch of junk food. You're gonna, your, your meals are gonna be all over the place. You're gonna eat bad portions, bad foods. If you want to eat healthy and you wanna eat right, shop for a week at a time. This way you're not buying in bulk, so you can still have variety, but you're also not buying junk food. You can plan your weeks of meal, of meals and say, I'm gonna have whatever, some steak on Tuesday, or maybe I'll have salads on Wednesdays. You know, if, th if that's your plan, go to the grocery store with that in mind, make yourself a list. This way you know exactly what you need. Come home, you'll have your food for the week, and the next week, if you didn't like something, you can interchange it and you can be ready. And that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the gist of things. You know, and if, as long as you're humble, everything will also work out because having an ego isn't going to help you. Going in and saying, oh, I can bench 250 pounds, uh, can you? Have you done it? Have you done it on your own? You know, can you, can you really do an hour of cardio uninterrupted? The last thing anyone wants is, it's, it's not a competition between you and the next person, it's a competition between you and yourself. Be the best that you can be and don't worry about other people because the best version of yourself is all that matters. And to get there, you need to know what your limitations are and how you can slowly uh, broaden those limitations. This way, maybe, maybe I can't bench 250 pounds for 15 reps today, but I can bench 135 for 15, so I'm gonna do that. And then you build up because like I said in the last video, nothing happens overnight. Do what you can, when you can, and in time, your goal will be achieved. So if you like this video or if you want more, comment below, send me an email in the description below. And if you also, again, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I, this is a bunch of great free information I'll be giving out throughout the, throughout the series. And if you have more that you wanna know about, send an email, send a comment, and definitely subscribe because you know, there's some good tips in here that you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. And this will conclude this portion of informational videos. The next few videos will be workout videos. The workouts will still be something you can do in an hour or less. So be sure to tune in, subscribe, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Kiss for you.